Well, we're going to focus on this, what's called the glycerol side of this. This is how they're held together. You see, the molecule we're drawing here, it's going to look... I mean, look at that. Isn't that boring? The way we draw it, it looks... The colors, it looks so much cooler. So, what we're going to focus on, we'll just draw the side chains down there as a continuation. But try. Try means three. Okay? So, let's draw three diamonds here. One... Draw a line just to separate them better. Two, three. All the fats are going to be like this. Three carbons, try. The glyceride, glycerol, remember whenever it's O, O-L, there's going to be an oxygen in there. So this is held together through carbon-carbon bonds. The fats are held by the carboxylic acid. Remember how that was? You had the OL, but here the OL got attacked by a carbon, so anyway, the O attacked the carbon, bound to it. So this diamond is going to have a double bonded O. This is that carboxylic acid that you always see on the side. Double bonded O, single bonded O. So that's how these are held together. That's that water-loving side. Now the rest of this, this is just a typical fat. So they're just carbons, usually always in even numbers. So the way that you write even number is you write 2n. That way, any n you pick times 2, so if you pick an odd number, times 2 is going to make it an even number. So you always find even number of carbons in these side chains. So we'll just draw a couple more here, keep them even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... And then just draw a little squiggly line. It means that goes on forever. No. 14s are popular. 12 is steric. So that's a pretty popular one. You come across again here. What do we got? Single bonded O to carbon with a double bonded O. So we've got to leave enough room here for it. I put the cap on. We're so proud of these markers we found in the dumpster. All this is recycled material, kids. On to another just diamond to diamond to diamond. Look how simple that is. I'm telling you, you can't get any simpler. Number them one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. Last one down here, what do you think this is going to have? The same configuration. Now, usually what you'll get are two of these long fats, and then you'll have this other shorter, more distinctive group here. Sphingomyelins, they'll call them. That's when you're into brain chemistry. That's where these molecules are really cool. But this is all from your diet. So when you're eating and breaking down fats for energy and that, they're carried in these triglyceride molecule. I mean, they're really big things going on here, right? I mean, you got, say, 18 carbons. So 18, 36, and 18 is 46, 54. 54 carbons. That's a big fat molecule right little carbons and stuff you're talking six let's see we'll do this take time and do the oxygens we're finding when we're doing the carbons here draw your diamonds then do the o's save your hydrogens for last always we know that right we haven't even drawn any little dots yet and this will go on maybe an arrow would be better than just having the Little squiggly line. So even numbers these will get going along. Out here, these carbons are already done. Let's color those in. Remember, it's a confidence game. If you feel like, oh, there's too much. I, I can't follow it. I'm getting really confused. Slow up. This carbon's got four bonds. Color it in. Get a little confidence going here. And you're thinking, this is boring. Oh, cosmic ray makes chemistry boring. Look how dull this is. All right, well, take a minute. Color these in. This gets colored in green because it's a oxygen all by itself. If there was nothing there, you'd call that an ether when it's carbon to carbon with an oxygen in the middle. But it's got this up here to make the carboxylic acid. 
So you just call it a carboxylic, carboxylate. And the type of bond, I believe this is called an ester. So when you're addressing this kind of bond from the carbon's point of view, you call it an ester. Not an ether, but ester. So is it looking more colorful now? Remember, greens have lots of negative around it. We're going to make this funny again. We can draw double aliens in there if we wanted. There's two lone pairs of electrons in there. Mm, there's one. There's two. So you can make this fun if you want. Two aliens up there, too. So remember, nitrogen was the alien. Oxygen's the two-headed aliens. Watch out for them. So coming along here now, we got all the carbons accounted for. Got the oxygens done. Next, we come through with our hydrogen dots. Red for hydrogen is kind of pink. This is rojo. One, two, because it's on the end, just like this. So one, two. This one only gets one. So see, they make a big deal about this because this has carbon to carbon bond. This has carbon to oxygen to carbon. So it's a different kind of bond in there. Come around here, dot, dot. What, you're losing some confidence? Okay, slow down, color these in. Remember, once we color them in, we're done with them. These guys here, they're done. Color this one in. We're coloring in the carbons, coloring in the carbons. Hi ho, the Dario, we're coloring in the carbons. We're coloring in the ester, we're coloring in the ester. Hi ho, the Zario, we're coloring in the ester. Can we color this one in? Yeah, it's got its two H's. Color this, no, nope. back up. Do the hydrogens first. This is the way we correct ourselves. Totally saturated fat here. No double bonds like that linoleic acid. Totally saturated means these hydrogens fill in wherever it's not a carbon to carbon bond. This is that sp2 thing. Write it in there. sp2. SP with three carbon. Oh, no, can't do that either. That'd be a different one. Color them in. Ooh, coloring in the carbons. Ooh, coloring in the carbons. Ooh, coloring in the carbons. Ooh, colored in that carbon, hey! So that's a fat. That's the fat, Jack. 